What was the other one we had? It was uh, Aaron Dessner of the National, right? Who'd been working with Taylor Swift a lot last year. Bunny Vare, Justin Vernon also working with Taylor Swift a little bit. They're putting out another album under the name Big Red Machine, which they've done before, I guess. I, I didn't know this until t- this week. With a lot of features, Fleet Foxes, uh, Anais Mitchell, and Taylor Swift. So I'm with what they did last year on on Taylor's record. I'm excited to hear this. 2019 Tony probably is like whatever, but 2021 Tony has evolved and we'll listen to anything. So yeah, I'm this this intrigues me too. Probably not as much as the the Halsey and Nine Inch Nails situation, but I'm definitely uh, this is something I'll I'll check out for sure. Is 2021 Tony Pitchfork Tony? He might be. <laughs> Damn. What a, become what you hate. <laughs> I don't hate Pitchfork. I'm, I'm mostly kidding. So I didn't, I'm with you. I didn't know that they had an album before this. You sent a link and it had a clip, right? It had a, yeah. Yep. Which was largely instrumental or was it all in? No, there was, there was, uh, yeah, it was uh, the song with the Nace Mitchell. It's called, oh boy, I'll have to look it up. But it was good. It had, it was totally chill and. It fit a relaxing vibe kind of moment thing, which, again, I'm mostly on the chaotic side when it comes to music, but there's a time and a place for everything. You know, we talked about that pure noise lo-fi album. Like, I'm here for that, too. So I'm, I'm all over the map. And I liked what I heard. And at the end of the day, like, when you get really these music brainiacs in a room, like, usually the product's pretty fucking good. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. I mean, see folklore, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> exactly. No, that that flipped uh, my whole situation on its head in terms of Taylor Swift. I didn't dislike her music. I just never gave her the time of day. And now I'm a fan, you know. Um, seems like they're keeping that legacy going with this. And, you know, they've done more than a few songs together. So that's obviously going to permeate between both their respective fan bases for Bonnie, Bonnie Vare and uh, Taylor Swift. And if they continue that legacy, awesome. They really should just put out a full-on album, just them two, even at this point. That'd be cool. But yeah. I feel like they're best friends. Yeah. They should just get married. Well, and, <laughs> and, uh, and Aaron from The National, too. I mean, he's... Yeah. And I, we've talked we talked about this before we get on. I don't think any of us are huge National fans, but I, I do like what he's doing with Taylor. So I'm like, okay, like maybe I should go back and check that out. Because I know they were... Boxer was really big. It's it's a, it's older now, but it, it's, it was a blind spot for me in the moment. Maybe, you know, again, maybe 2021 20, Tony likes that. Who knows? Yeah, blind spot for me. I knew they that album and maybe the one after that was big in the college radio scene, like massive, like people worshipped them. And even people that I know from heavier music scene are big into the national, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe, the, like I said, like we said on a previous episode, like maybe the joke's on me. Like 2021 Pitchfork Anthony might be into it. <laughs> yeah, for me, they kind of passed, I kind of, you know, they passed me by a few times as well. But I have a good friend out here. Shout out to Ken. He's a huge, huge national fan. Hi, hi Ken. Hey, Ken. And it's always nice <laughs> to get. 2012. Oh, is that his name? Ken 2012. <laughs> It's always nice to get uh, something personally recommended, you know, and I do check it out, Tone, just so you know. So oh, it does only happen. when Ken sends it to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nate has like an algorithm. Is your name if Ken yeah. proceed with checking out if Tony <laughs> yeah. revisit in two years? <laughs> Forget about it. I should have wrote it down, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I love it. Uh, also, I've got to give Nate, I got to give you credit. <sighs> Early on in the podcast days, I would interrupt you. Like I just did, and you would completely lose your train of thought. And now you're like on it, bro. Like I gotta, you're just like ah, screw him. I'm gonna plow through my point anyway. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I get more clarity now. I don't know what it is. Training for a marathon. Maybe that's it. Maybe yeah. I'm uh, okay. More clear-headed. <laughs> I'm stoked for that. I cannot wait. <laughs> Which one are you gonna run, man? Do you know? Yeah, it's a very gradual process. It's mainly just to just to challenge myself. I don't know. I don't, I'm not gonna jump right into a marathon, but it's okay, really just right. to train in the morning, work during the day, pot at night kind of thing. You know, like you guys know I have so much time, so I figured out. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're, you've got a lot of free time. <laughs> yeah, what can I do in the morning? <laughs> so National Bon Iver collabo, I'm here for it. Yeah, interesting. Stuff to check out. 